Yo, my people, what's up? What's up? What's up, y'all? I got y'all pulled up on here. Let me see. Let's get it. Let's get it. Diane, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Hey, y'all, why y'all coming in? Go ahead and, um, you know, like, like the uh, live stream, like it, get it so we can get it pushed out because you know I'm going to be dropping gems. Um, I know you guys ain't come on here to waste your time. I didn't come on here to waste your time. I come on here to help you guys master this Forex market and make some money. So like the video, share it real quick with a two friends so we can get this thing out, all right? So more people can, can see what's going on and we can get people knowledgeable about this market. Pip talk. He said, traders to the right, gamblers to the left. <laughs> oh, shoot. Knocked over my whole setup. What's going on, y'all? You good? Yeah. All right, so cool, man. Let's get it. Jay, do you use order blocks? Yeah, so we going to... I see all the comments. Leave your comments in, uh, in the comment section. I will read it. We're going to answer the uh, questions. I got some things that I want to cover with you guys. And then... We're going to have a good night and wake up for London and trade, all right? So, without further ado, let's get it. Let's get it. Tick, 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 take profits on the move. The movement is real. Yeah. 50 pips a day, watch the money trip. Pips pay my bills. 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 Hey, my people said no sound. So look, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Look, just um, oh, you couldn't hear? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Look, I think y'all can hear now. Look again. What's up, y'all? This your boy Jay Wayne. You know, representing Team Take Profits. And like I said earlier, got my 3D energy drink on deck. Like I said, pinkies up, and we lit. So look, anybody um. Any housekeeping rules, anybody spamming in the group chat, anybody, uh, you know, acting like they me, posting WhatsApp links and posting uh, VIP stuff. I don't got any of that Telegram stuff. Uh, that's a scam. I'm not accepting Bitcoin, any of that. All right. So. Um, so anybody do that in the comment section, I got to block you. So but let's get away from all of that. And let's get right into it. So I think uh, I think they said I, I, you can hear me now, right? You guys can hear me? Okay, cool, cool, cool. And I apologize about that. My audio was off. But let's get it, man. So who we got? Who we got up in here, man? Um, let's see. I got my comments right here. <clears throat> Say we got Malaysia in the building. What's going on? It's uh, 841. I had a little bit of technical problems, but we back. Um... Let me see here. Hey, Fat Boy Drive, what's up? He said, I'm here. What's going on? Ready for the saw, Sandy. So look, I'm going to take us to the charts, all right? I'm going to take us to the charts. If you got questions, um, I'm looking at them right here. So ask them, okay? But let's go to the charts and let's look and see what's been happening from Monday and get some momentum and see where we at. Now, this is a Forex channel. So, you know, 
that's what we're going to be talking about. But you can ask questions or whatever. So let's dive into the charts. All right, so let's see. I'm going to fix my screen for you guys so you guys can actually see it. It's kind of big right now. Let me see. There it is. You should be able to see that. All right, cool. So um, let's go with um, let's go to the the one uh, daily chart, and let's go let's go down. Now here's the thing. This is my watch my watch list thing. Okay, my watch list is right over here. When I first wake up to the markets, okay, I'm looking at GBP odd. That's the first one I'm looking at. That's just what I like to trade, okay? I'm looking at GBP odd. Alright. And after that, I go to GU and then you know GBP USD. And I just work my way down. So here's my order. Right here. You can kind of see it right on the side, okay? Um, so let's go with GBP odd. So we on the daily chart. You can see this boy been dropping, right? Hey, if you guys have have not seen, if you guys have not seen um, my fifty moving average, like look how powerful this is. All right, so look, this was an uptrend, right? This thing has been going up forever. So this is the outer trend line, okay? The, then price made what a higher look at this high right here all right now look at this high right here a higher high and it just keep pushing higher right so because we got a higher high right here you need to draw that other trend line right there boom you see that look at that beautiful retest on the inner trend line this is the inner trend line this is what i'm gonna do I'm going to put this one as a dotted line. This is the inner trend line. This is the outer trend line. Both of them got retested. What a coincidence, team. Look. Somebody already spamming in the comments. All right, cool. So look at this. Yeah, this is live. Um, John, John Ar Aragon seven ten. This is live, baby. Live in the flesh. This is live. This is not pre-recorded. A lot of a lot of you YouTube, a lot of y'all favorite YouTubers, they don't do the live. A lot of them are really, really not educated. Uh, so, uh, some of them are though. Some of them are for sure. Um, but uh. You you know you know who the ones that are educated and the ones that's that's just flashing profits, but look, um look so we if we can find a setup here I'm gonna show it to you um Angie, I mean um I Idris all right so look this is the inner trend line what a coincidence team that price broke the trend line and retested there look at this this is the inner trend line then it broke through the fifty y'all should have been on that sale. Y'all should have been on that sale, all right? Then look at this. Price broke the outer trend line. And what a coincidence. It retested that one as well. You feel me? Like, this is no joke. A lot of people watch my, um... A lot of people had, uh, watched my... My, um, what is it called? My trend line... Uh, strategy or the trend line video and it was talking about how do you know when it's breaking I'm trying to cover that real quick I'm going to answer your questions but I got some things that I need to cover okay um, instead of answering everybody one by one by one let me just make a video where we can just cover it it really really works you just have to know the rules it's a trend line 
you can't place a trend line when the market is consolidating. For a trend line that goes up or, um, you know, trend line that's going up, the, the, the market has to be going a higher high. So let's go back into it. A lot of you know that. Uh, let's see here. Boom. All right. So look at this. Price was making a higher high. It broke it. Now it broke the 50. It's telling you, hey, we're in a we're in a seller's market now. So you can take the breakout. But you got to take profit because what comes after the breakout right here? What comes after the breakout? 80% of the time, the retest is going to come. So why hold it if you took the breakout, if you know you're just going to get right back at break even because the retest is coming? So if you're going to take the breakout, my philosophy is take profit at a reasonable um, area in the market where price is going to pull back. Look, for example, when you take the breakout of a, of a trend line, you need to look left. So you can find where is it going to stop and pull back. You feel me? So for an example. Look at this. You see this? Is that where price pulled back at in the past? Is that where you see wicks? So if you took the breakout, let me delete all of this other stuff. I'm teaching y'all. If you taking the breakout. You need to look left and see if it's even worth it. You need to see. You need to look left and and see if you. Oh, my cursor. Uh, somebody said they can't see my cursor. Let me make the cursor bigger. Okay, y'all. One second. Let me make the cursor bigger. Sorry, y'all. Let me trying to make the cursor a little bit bigger let me see sensibility one second y'all i'm gonna show y'all real quick all right bear with me y'all i'm sorry about that let me see display all right, here it is. So I'm going to make the cursor bigger. Um, let me know. You should be able to see this. This is like huge. All right, Tim, can y'all see this big old cursor on the screen? Sorry about that, y'all. Can y'all see the can y'all see the cursor now? All right, cool. Oh, y'all can't see the cursor. Oh, man. Hold on. Let me see. Why y'all can't see the cursor? Let me see. Let me see. Oh, the cursor is black. Oh man, I can't even change it. So look, team, I'm gonna fix that on the on the next screen. I'm gonna fix it on the next one. But for now, um, I gotta just show y'all what I can do here. On, I'm gonna make it white. Let me see. Let me make it gray. If I make the chart gray, can you see the cursor now? Still can't see the cursor. All right, I'm going to fix that. I'm sorry, y'all. Please forgive me. I'm going to fix the cursor issue on the next one. But let me let me continue. I can continue without the cursor, okay, team? Um, I, could, I can fix the cursor. I, I can uh, teach y'all without the cursor. But for, what I'm trying to say is this. Um, right here, you can see the crosshairs, Okay. And so right here, you see how price right up in here? Do you see how this area right here got rejected, team? You see that? So now you need to take note of that. Do you see right here where price rejected? 
right there. Boom. You see those wicks? Do you see right here where price rejected again? Let me blow it up. Okay. So bear with me. This is this is very humbling that I that I did not figure out my mouse situation. So please bear with me. I will fix it for you, okay? But look, here we go. So price um so when you took the breakout of the trend line which is right here when you took the breakout of the trend line you should have known that this area where this gold line is is where you were supposed to take profit at okay uh follow the uh crosshair that's where my mouse is follow the middle of the crosshair okay so boom, so you supposed to took profit. Then you wait to see if it retests. That's what I would have done. Okay. So let me um let me delete. Let me delete these uh, circles on the on the chart, and let's continue. Okay. So now look at this. <clears throat> when price then price retested. This was the next entry. How did you know to enter? Excuse me. How did you know to enter there though? Because it's basically retesting the tr the inner trend line, but I would have entered as price was breaking the, the 50 moving average. That's where I would have entered at. I would have entered with the momentum. Boom. People say, well, what's your strategy, J. Wayne? What's your strategy? I call it the, the FTB strategy. The follow the banks. Follow them. Because them the ones that got the money, them, those are the people that's moving the market. I call it the FTB strategy. All right. So um, here we go. So it drops. Boom. Where's the next area to take profit? Where's the stop loss going to be? OK, so now if this is going to be the entry. And this 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 same, this is the daily chart. This same scenario is for the the 15 minute chart, you know, like the hour chart, like it's all the same. So. The entry was right here. Okay. Now, where's your stop loss? Is No, no, no. The entry would have been somewhere like right here. Realistically, it would have been right here. This is where the entry would have been. Stop loss got to be above the wicks. People say, well, I don't understand stop loss. This is where the stop loss is going to go. Boom. So now, where's your potential take profit, though? Where's the next area where price was rejecting that? Is it this area, team? Is this the area? Let me see. Take profit. Is this the... Maybe this is the take profit. Or is it up here? You see what I'm saying? So, this could be... You could do it like this. You could do take profit one. You could do... You could do uh, take profit two. You see, you see this structure up in here. Take profit two could have been there. So this was a one to one, right up in here in this structure. That was the one to one. And then this is a like a one to two or probably like a one to three if you held it down here. So that's pretty much how it works. Um with the trend line so that's gbp all now look this is where price at now so now you see price dropping right team now let's delete that so now you see price dropping what's the next move now let's go here you got this move nope you got this move right here well first you had this move boom all right see that powerful the trend line works again so now look at this what happens when the trend line broke take the profit if you take the breakout take the profit how did you know that that was the area for for taking the profit look it's the same thing over again you see this area 
Why is there? Why did price come down here and stop and reject it? This area right here, price stopped and rejected, went back up, broke below it, finally broke the trend line. If you took the trend line break, which is counter trend trading because we're in a seller's market. This is counter trend trading. Okay, let's pull out. Let me see. Can you pull out pivot points on here? Oh, this is the daily chart. No, you can't put pivot points on the daily chart. But look. It comes back out here. It come if you take the breakout, you're gonna take profit at this area. So let's mark this as take profit. Then what what happens? Type in the um type in the comments. Type in the comments. What happens after a breakout? 80% of the time, what happens after a breakout? 80% of the time, type it in the comments. 80% of the time, what happens after a breakout? All right, retest, exactly, exactly. So look, think about it. After the breakout, all right, if you're going to take the breakout trade, why would you try to hold it for a runner? You you can and, and see it, you know, but I'm talking about high probability trade setups. High probability. How many times... Do you think the market is going to give you the trade that you want? It's not going to happen all day. How many times? So people that's trading five, I know people that's trading 10 times a day, scalping all day long. Revenge trading, greedy. The market is not going to give you that perfect setup all day long. It's just not going to happen. Maybe maybe one or two times and then and then you need to stop and refresh your mind. So look, you take the breakout on the trend line, right? I would if you take the breakout, I would I would look left, look at the at the structure left and take profit there. And if it don't retest and it keep going, that's it. If it does not retest and it keeps shooting up, wait for the next pullback. Right? Um, flow, flow like Mike said. So how would you know if it's going to go back down if it's consolidating like it is? Well, here's the thing. You pull out a 200 simple, simple moving average. It didn't break the simple moving average, right? It didn't break the simple moving average on the 200. That's the, that's the, um, the swing trade moving average. The 50 is the scalping and day trade moving average. The 200 is the swing trade this is a, this is a what the chart that i'm showing you is a clear let me go back to it let me go back to it this is a clear downtrend right this is a clear downtrend let me see if i pull out the 200 let me see Let's see what the 200 looking like. Look at that. It's still below the 200. That's the blue line. It's still below the 200 simple moving average. So that's still a downtrend. You should be thinking sales. Roll, we trade with the banks. The strategy is called FTB. Uh, 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 tr uh, tr uh, follow the banks. Follow the banks. So we following the, what the market is doing. And the 200 simple moving average is still showing that it's a downtrend. So I wouldn't be thinking about any any runners on buys. I wouldn't if I if I take a buy, it's a it's a scalp, it's a day trade, and I'm out. And I'm out. That's how you have to think. All right. You guys know uh, how to how to find good trades. You guys know how to find wedges and and um, you know um, uh, head and shoulder patterns. Now it's all about staying disciplined and understanding how the market works. So, and that's where a lot of us are struggling with. That's what mentorship is for. Because we talk about that all the time. So look at this. 
So if you took the break out, here's the retest. So everybody comment below. If every time you take the break out, 80% of the time it goes back to retest. What does it go back to retest? The trend line. All right. Now look at this team. Look at this. What if price? What if price does not? What, 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 hold on. Once it break the trend line, what if it don't come back and test the trend line? Then what? What if it doesn't come back and test the trend line? You're you're like okay. Jay Wayne said, when it break the trend line, eighty percent of the time it's gonna come back and retest. So it comes back to retest, but it does not come back to the trend line. What do we do? Um, Anna, shout out to shout out to Anna. Anna said you don't take the trade. Anna said you don't take the trade. That's partially true. Oliver, shout out to Oliver Boss. He said, don't take the trade. That's partially true. All right. No, I'm not with I am Mastery. I'm not with IML. Uh, look on the screen. Let me see. Where is it at? Is it right here? Look on the screen, okay? Um, get mentorship at Trend Trading Academy. I'm not with uh, I am Academy. So look at this. If it does not come back to the trend line, it's going to come back somewhere. It's going to come back to structure. So don't just have the zone of the trend line marked up. Look left and look at the structure because it may not come back to the trend line. The trend line was maybe too steep. The trend line was probably too steep for it to come back. So you got to mark up the zone or the structure looking left. And I don't know if I'm looking left or right. For me, it's, it, this is my left. All right. For y'all, maybe this is my left. <laughs> Sorry about that. But look left. All right. Look left. Find the structure. Now let's go back to the charts. <clears throat> so look at this. It, it broke the trend line, but it, it didn't really come back right to the trend line so i didn't want you to miss this what did it come back to structure see that get the structure marked up see that get the structure marked up structure this is the structure and that's what it came back to retest. So because you saw that, boom, now we can enter. Now we got something to enter off of. Brick City Girl, what's up? Mr. Doe said gems. That's all I deliver. All right? Shout out to Mr. Joe. He said gems. That's all your boy deliver. Now look. Did y'all get that? Because that's that's powerful. I can end the session right off of that. All right. That's that's powerful understanding that a lot of people overlook. Simple, 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 but powerful. All right. So what time frame you use for entry? Muhammad, shout out to Muhammad. Um my entry is on a 15 minute time frame. Hey, Rufus. He said he got to been watch all the videos. I mean, if you watch the videos, literally, you're going to become a powerful trader. All right. Do you trade London session with people who join Trend Trading Academy? So Daniel Perkins is saying, do I trade London session with people that join Trend Trading Academy? Um, right here, uh, by the way, right here. This is how we do it. Um, I'm not on Telegram. All of those fake team take profit groups on Telegram, scammers, that's not me. Everything is ran on the website you see here. All right? So look, 
I sent out the trade setups, me and the team, me, Joe, Robert, whatever. And we're in a group chat. If people have questions about them, I, you know, we answer them. Excuse me. Um, if I send out the trade setup and it's getting close to a zone, I try to update the team. We're talking about it in the, in the community, in the chat group. And then um, because I have my, my twins, they're, they're still young. I stopped going live on YouTube on Tuesdays because I, I'm losing sleep. They're starting to sleep at night now. So I'm going to pick up the YouTube lives again. All right. So bear with me on that. But yes, we will be, be trading live. Okay. But it doesn't matter. I'm teaching you how to fish so you can make your own money and not depend on me. All right. While you're still learning, I'm going to give you trade setups every single day, Monday through Thursday, not Friday, Monday through Thursday during London session. I'm going to give you trade setups that win 75% of the time, no lie. All right. So that's how we do it. Let's go back to the charts. So now look. <clears throat> look at this now now we got price a little bit of consolidation and dropped it made a lower low guess what team we got to move the trend line now we got to move the trend line here team why do we have to move the trend line because it made a lower low it made a lower low so now we have to move the trend line out. Okay. So be ready when, when price break this trend line, be ready for that. Take the profit up in here and then a pullback and potentially we going up. I don't know if that's going to happen. I'm not a fortune teller, but if it does, you know what to do. All right. <clears throat> and look, if it breaks this trend line, comes back and go up, well, be prepared for this shoulder. Be prepared for this head and shoulder move. Be prepared for that. This is this is you know, this is how you prepare for a trade. You prepare. All right. This is this is for the swing trades. We're going to go down to the day trades in a minute. But this is for my swing traders. Let's get them out the way. All right. Boom. <clears throat> so potentially this might be an area. OK. We'll see. We'll see. So. Um. But I do know this. Wait for the pullback in this area right here. Simple. Wait for the pullback in that area. It already really pulled back right here. You see how the, you see the pullback area right here? Right here, that's the pullback area. So now let's go to um let's go to the hour chart. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the inverted head and shoulders. Yes. Jamaica is in the house. What's up, David Gray? So look at this team. Let's pull out the 200 simple moving average. Let's pull out the 200. Let me see. Boom. Here's the 200. On the one hour chart. Where's the 200 on the four hour? The 200 on the four hour chart is all the way up here. Hey, Gia. Hey, Gia is on the team. Shout out to Gia. It's G Gia, what, what do we do in this situation, Gia, if you watch it? I'm going to give you a second, see if you on here. What do we do with this right here? Hold on, let me show you. What do we do with this? What do we do with this? 
What 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 do we do? Comment below. All right, Gia. Shout out to Gia. Hey, she a beast on the team. Gia is a beast on the team. Somebody said sell. Marcus Marcus Phillips. Marcus is on the team. Hey, if you on a team, type in TTP. Type in TTP if you on a team. Let's go. Marcus Phillips said, pull out that trend line. See, people, look at this. Uh, oh, okay. Frank said, flag pattern. Yeah, simple. Simple, right? TTP, everybody, let's go. So look at this. I appreciate y'all on the support. So if you see in this, look at this. This is on a four hour. So this is not too far away. Pull out that trend line. Flag pattern. A lot of TTP in the building. Let's go. So look, don't don't just sell. I wouldn't sell. I will sell when the trend line break. I will sell when it break the trend line. All right. So this is the this is the trade, y'all. I'm giving y'all the trade. One two right through. We got more than one two, peep game. We got more than one two. We got one touch, two touch, three touch, four touch, team. Are y'all ready for another gym? I need, I need, I need like some type of, some type of effect that just gems just drop down on the screen. When I, when I drop gems on you, I want gems to drop from the screen. That'd be fire. Or is that too corny? <laughs> I want to, I want a gem to pop up in the corner or something. Now look, real talk. Look at me, look at me. Do you, why do you think? price keep respecting that trend line what's happening think about it you use your head what's happening all right price keep going up and then it comes back and it stops right at the trend line and then it make and then it goes up again and then it comes back and pull back and it stops right at the trend line again why is it doing that we're we're overlooking it the reason why is because it's building a friction point it's an algorithm we're trade in the market we're trading um banks that trade with algorithms they're not it, it's not bro these central banks have billions and trillions of dollars flowing through this market they're not sitting there pushing little buy and sell buttons they're, they're, they know their areas in the market and they wait for those areas and they have systems in place to get them there. They have systems in place that would trigger that. So most of the market is moving on algorithms and then you got hedge funds that got bots running in the market and then you got us retail traders that's a whole bunch of us just put money in the market. So... It's moving at that angle. The more it moves at that angle, keep touching that trend line, the friction point gets stronger. The friction point is getting stronger and stronger and stronger. And when it finally breaks it, that's why your boy got, got confidence to take it because I understand the friction point is strong. So when it does break it, it's like it just broke through a brick wall. Boom. The strategy is called FTB. We follow in the banks. Let's go back to the charts. Do you see what I'm saying? The price just keep going up and coming back. Why the heck? Is it keep coming back to the trend line? It just how do, it just keeps stopping. It just keeps stopping. Over and over. It keep going up, then it don't go up, then it finally go up, but how, whatever, 
it keeps stopping at this trend line. What the heck? Are you gonna how long are you gonna be blind to the trend line? How long? Team. Hey, shout out to Brazil. I want to go to Brazil for real. Do y'all see this? How the heck? Let me take this 200 SMA off. How is it? Let me see. All right, team, how is it that price keep staying at this trend line? Over and over and over and over and over, right? So when it finally breaks through, you know you got a powerful move on your hands. You understand? Go ahead and tackle this area right here, this big head. Cover those shoulders, left shoulder, right shoulder. This is the head. Even if it's not a head and shoulders, it doesn't even matter. You know that this was the area that it had to break through. How do you know that this is the area? Because you got multiple rejections there in the past. So you know that that's a powerful area in the market. So, so do y'all see the power of that trend line? I hope y'all see the power of that trend line. So, let's go back to the charts and let's see what we got for, for GA on the lower time frame. <clears throat> GA? Simple, like I just told y'all, wait for the trend line break. All right, shout out to Jamaica, what's up? Yeah, Muhammad, only one pullback is good enough. One pullback is all you need. Team, what I want you to understand is this. Don't be don't be trading in the market. This is going to be Friday. Okay, we're going into Friday. Do not rush. Do not force this, okay? Do not force it. Price has already pulled back to this area right here. So, price has already pulled back to that area. Do y'all see this? Price is already pulled back here. This this area right here. So now we have to wait. You understand? So can y'all wait? Because I'll tell you what, banks are patient. Banks will wait a week, two weeks. All right? Can y'all wait for that? Because I just want to let you know, who are we to rush this? We need to be grateful and thankful that we are in a position to participate in this Forex market. And once you have your, your, your focus on a trade setup that's really, really high probable like I just showed you, you just have to wait. Sit on your hands, do what you got to do, and wait for the market to come to you, all right? So let me, um, I've been talking enough. Um... It's still time to go over some more charts, but let me, I'm here for y'all, okay? I'm here for y'all, so let me ask, 
uh, look at some uh, questions and answer, okay? So, <clears throat> uh, Muhammad asking a lot of questions, like his life depend on it. <laughs> Hey, he said, my life do depend on this. I'm trying to make some money, boy. So, Muhammad, um, which time frame should I analyze for entry? And which, and watch the pullbacks. So, my entry time frame is the 15-minute chart. All right? My entry time frame is the 15-minute chart. I mark up my chart on like I do for, I do the daily, I do the four hour and then I go to the one hour. So I, I do top down analysis. Um, But probably you want to wait for a pullback like the hour chart or something like that to be safe. Because your entry is on a 15. So you probably want to wait for the pullbacks on the hour. Yeah, let's just let's just say that. Hey guys, if you haven't already, please like the video and share it on like Facebook or or share this this stream link on Instagram. No, you can't share it on Instagram, but like share it on Facebook or a couple people. Um, I I, I really really would appreciate it. Um, Craig said, "Is a dollar lot size too risky for a thousand dollar account?" A dollar lot size is not risky. But let me just tell you, it's not about it's not about the lot size. It's about your risk to reward, the trade that you're taking. Okay, because it, let me let me let me take you to the charts real quick. What if you take this trade right here at the trend line? Okay? Let's say you take it right up in here, pull back or break out, whatever you choose, right? Let's say it comes down and you take the trade. Where's your stop loss? Your stop loss is going to have to be up here. Probably right here. This is where your stop loss will have to be as of now. And then where is your take profit going to be? If your take profit is like this, then don't take the trade because it's not enough room for you to go to make some money. All right. So if you can get it, if you can get it down here, that'd be ideal. If you can get price to come down here. You know, if price comes down here or or down here or something. Now, let's just do a one-to-one, -one, okay? So, for an example, let's see. How many pips would this be? That's 107 pips. That's 107 pips for, you know, 100 pips. Or, or 107 or 100 pips. Hopefully we can get this this stop loss a little bit lower but in order in order to get the stop loss a little bit lower you got to wait for price you got to see what price is going to like come back and pull back if if let me let me delete these lines for you if price make a pullback like right up in here then you can you can move the um the trend line i mean you can move the stop loss down here now y'all understand it so we just have to wait and see what the market does. But for now, the stop loss ha would be up here. But hopefully it will make some type of pullback and we could put it up there. So, But we don't know yet. So if you take a, a dollar lot size, you got to ask yourself, is 72 pips okay? Because if you lose, you're going to lose $72. So if you lose $72 out of 1000 are you okay with that? All right. 
You got to ask yourself, are you okay with losing $72? If you're not okay with losing $72, then you got to lower the lot size to like 50, uh, like 50 cents. All right, so then go to 50 cent. If you lose with a 50 cent lot size, you only lose $36. Are you okay with losing $36 out of your thousand? If the answer is yes, then that is the lot size you need to take. You need to adjust your lot size depending on your risk. Where's your stop loss? If your stop loss is 30 pips away, then you need to take the lot size according to that stop loss. Hopefully that makes sense. All right. So let's um so I'm about to read some comments. Let's um Let's vibe. Let's vibe. Man, it's three in the morning over here. It's like eight over there in London right now. They over there getting it. Man, that's where the money at. That's where we need to be by any means necessary. You heard me? I got a bank to break. Who with me? I got a few moves to make. Who with me? I got a flight to take. Let's get it. I got a dream to chase. Go get it. I got a team to feed. God has been good to me. Yeah, yeah. Leaving a legacy. That's part of my destiny. Yeah, yeah. London got them big banks. We out here popping big ranks. We bout that kingdom building life and we ain't popping no drinks. I got a bank to break. Ain't playing no games today. I hop on the charts like looking at art. I see it a different way. I got a bank to break. I got a few moves to Make. I got a flight to take. I, take I got a dream to chase. Yeah. London, 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 keep them trades coming. Trace London, trace London, trace London, London, keep them trades coming. I got a bank to break. I, break I got a few moves to make. I'm gonna make it. I got a flight to and take. I'm gonna take it. I got a dream to and chase. I'm gonna chase. London, 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 keep them trades coming. Trace keep coming. them trades coming. London, keep them trades coming. As long as London got trades. Then I'ma keep get paid Yes, Forex lifestyle, got it locked down I keep the food on the plate I got that big boat on the lake You know I be chilling I gotta meditate I gotta You buying, you should've been selling the wrong move Well, get your account A Five accounts for a big family We big stacking, you too late yeah. You trying to fund your account again No discipline, you only chase yeah. I sit back and I wait Whatever it takes Cause patience is action I be on live calling out big trades Them demo profits you flash. I got a bank to break I got a few moves to make I got a flight to take. I got a dream to chase. London, 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 keep them trades coming. London, 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 keep them trades. I got a bank to break. I got a few moves to make. I got a flight to take. I got a dream to chase. London, 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 keep them trades coming. Trades coming. Trades coming. London, keep them trades coming. Keep them trades coming. Building wealth and legacies, ooh, we, it's bigger than me, ooh, we, building the kingdom, ooh, we, now I'm free, 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 freedom ain't found in money, freedom is found in grace, that's why I keep my faith in God, and not that money I make, I got a bank to break, I'm break I got a few moves to make, I'm make it. I got a flight to take, I got a, take it. I got a dream to chase, yeah. London, 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 keep them trades coming, trades coming. London, 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 keep them trades coming. I got a bank to break, I'm break I got a few moves to make, I'm gonna make it. I got a flight to and take, I'm gonna take it. I got a dream to and chase, I'm gonna chase London, 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 keep them trades coming, trades keep coming. them trades coming, London, keep them trades coming. If you ain't investing, if you ain't trading, then what is you doing? I guess you love trading your time for dollars, but just know that time is our most valuable asset. Yeah, I got the formula, come holla at me. All right, y'all, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. We back in here. So, um, while we was vibing out. While we was vibing out. That song is called London, um, by the way. If you want to, uh, 
it's in the look in the comment. I mean, look in the uh, description of the video. You can click on like um, uh, TTP Trade Music, and it'll take you to the website where you can listen to it and all of that. So um, while we was vibing out, I I pulled out this trend line on GBP JPY. All right, here it is. So be looking out for that um, GBP JPY. I'm trying to see do I see any patterns in the market. I'm um, looking for some patterns. Um, t -t 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 everything is dropped already, so. Um, t -t 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 I'm just looking. That's about all I got on GBP JPY for the safer trade. If price break below this area right here. If price break below this area, then you need to look for a sell on that. All right, so. If price break that, look for a sell. So this is, this is the area because look, this is what we got in the past. When price broke this area right here, it dropped so I found that area price just repeats itself and at the same area where it once dropped that hard you got a big push up so now this is where we at so if price already tried to break it you understand what I'm saying price already tried to break this area but it didn't let me um let me bring it down for you see price already tried to break it but it didn't so Maybe this is going to be pushing up. Okay? Maybe this is going to push up. Because it already tried to break. But if it don't break, and it comes back down here, I'm going to be looking to sell. Because it tried to break it before, and it couldn't. And if it come back down and break through again, I'm, I'm out of there. You know? And... You got to be careful because it may be a double a double bottom, but I'm going I'm to be right there. I'm going to be right there for the sale. I'm going to be right there for the sale. So do y'all got this marked up? All right, so this is GBP JPY. We'll be looking for a sale down here. Or we're going to be looking for a buy if it breaks the trend line. All right. So <clears throat> people call it a descending wedge. You can call it whatever you want to call it. I'm just following the banks. All right. Willie Jones, what's up, baby? Yeah, you live. We in here. All right. So look, this is this, you can call it a, a descending wedge. You can see the wedge pattern. You can do all of that, right? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what fancy name you want to call it. Just just follow the trade setup. All right. Um, let's go with um GBP USD. Same thing, GBP USD. Same thing. We got another trend line. Another flag pattern. This is a flag pattern. That's what it's called. It's called a flag pattern. Here's the flag pole. And here's the flag. All right. So that's the flag pattern. Wait for that to break. Yep. Wait for this to break out to the downside, and um, we good. So make sure y'all screenshotting or writing this down, okay? Because these are going to be actual actual trades. Yes, um, let me see. Uh, 
iGlobal coach said, do you, do you trade supply and demand zones? In the academy, I have a five-week training on supply and demand zones. I went all the way up in there. I have supply and demand zones the traditional way. And I have supply and demand zones using the Fibonacci. He said, note takers are money makers. Yes, sir. So that's what we're looking for. <clears throat> All right. Um, let me go back some. Let me go to the four hour chart. See, look at this. Look at this team. And I won't keep you long. Price reversed right here. Right here. Right where it reversed last time. That's where it came right back to. What a coincidence. I don't know why people I don't know why people can't make money. I don't know why why people can't make money. The reason why people can't make money is because they're not patient. They don't they don't want to wait for this. Team, do y'all see this money? Do y'all do y'all see this money on the screen? Do y'all see this? Powerful. <clears throat> the uh this blue line is just a, a a rectangle box. Just pull out a rectangle box and then draw it on the screen. All right. So let me go in um. Yep. So let me go through the comments right quick and then um let's see what we got. Hey Derek, number one Forex song. Let's go. Thank you, bro. Hey, everybody say everybody say I can't I can't beat the pips, pay my bills. Hey team, I got a surprise for y'all. Hey, I wasn't I wasn't gonna share this. I, I got a surprise for y'all. How long we been on here? For like an hour almost? Let's go ahead, let's go ahead and wrap it up. If y'all got some more questions, comment below. But I think I got a surprise for y'all. Alright. I got a um I got a series coming up. And y'all gonna love it. I got a I got a YouTube series coming up and it's 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 based on forex and no gimmicks just I'm talking about money all right fire education and hit, check this out y'all let me I, I let me share something with y'all real quick just a sneak peek all right one second one second Um, make sure y'all mark up the charts that y'all see on the screen while y'all waiting real quick. I'm about to show y'all something. Make sure that you have this because what I'm about, what I'm, I'm gonna post the trade setup later. Okay. I'm gonna post the trade setup and I want y'all to be, show me that y'all make some money off of it because it's gonna pop. All right, cool. Hey. <clears throat> Let's see. Display capture. Yep. So, um, watch this, y'all. 
Watch this. This about to be fire. Hang in there with me. This is this is on the fly. I didn't prepare for this. I wasn't going to show nobody this. Um, video capture. Watch this. this I think y'all going to like this one. From the trades, huh? I really do this, I really do this, I really trade, bro. Hit the markets for a milli, then I'm laying low. Like a pro, like a pro. Yeah, I'm trading like a pro. Like a pro, like a pro. Taking profit like a pro. Like a pro, time to let them know. Bank on the phone, no, I don't need a loan, cause I'm trading like a pro. We getting paid, we getting paid, we getting paid, huh? Taking that money, stacking that money from the trades, huh? Like a pro, like a pro, time to let them know. Bank on the phone, no, I don't need a loan, cause I'm trading like a pro. We get paid, we get paid, we get paid. Hey, that's it, y'all. Oh, my audio is off. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My audio is off. Look, the cat is out the bag. And the YouTube series is coming. Trade like a pro. I'm going to do my part, but I need you to do your part. All right? I need you to meet me halfway. Come into class. Okay? Come into class. Watching these videos. Excuse me, watching these videos and mastering it. I need I don't want to make these videos teaching you how to trade like the pro. Like a, I'm teaching, I'm gonna teach you. But I need I don't want to waste my time. I need you to meet me halfway. I'm gonna meet, I'm gonna go all the way for you. You just need to come. Make sure you come and master the content. It's gonna be simple, it's not gonna be drawn out. It's not going to be all over the place. It's going to be right to the point. And my goal is to help you guys to become pro traders and profitable traders, most of all. Profitable. All right? So, <clears throat> I'm going to be dropping it very, very soon, okay? So, you're going to be seeing rollouts. Trade like a pro, all right? Trade like a pro. You're gonna be you're gonna be seeing rollouts, and then you will know when it's here. Okay, so stay plugged in. Don't miss it. Okay. The song is not out yet. This was a sneak peek of it. I I really wasn't gonna do it, but you guys showing me love, spending time with me on a Thursday night, so I had to give you something like something special to say thank you. All right. 
Uh, Jodance, Jodance saying, when is the channel going to drop? This is my channel. Subscribe to this channel. All right. Subscribe, subscribe to this channel so you don't miss it. Click the subscribe button so you do not miss it because I'm going to drop it. Um, it's a YouTube series. The videos are going to drop week after week after week, and it's just going to be fire. It's just, it's just going to teach you how to trade, like, like everything I know, like you're going to know what I know. So make sure you meet me halfway. Come, come, come back, subscribe, come back and master the content. Don't let it go in one ear and out the other. Okay, cool. Cool. So, hey, look, we've been on here long enough. Hey, we got we got kids and families to feed and, you know, we got things to do. Some of our kids got to go to school or get ready for online school. So um, I don't want to hold y'all all night. I did give you all trade setups. Look at the trades. Um, we're waiting for uh, GVP USD. It's almost going to break the trend line here. Okay. So... Be ready for this. And um, we got GBP all. That's not ready yet. The um, the only thing we, we can really do with these is play the trend line because it's just pulling back. So that's all you can do with these. We already missed the drop. See, look at this. If you was, I'm not lying. Look at this flag pattern. What happened after the flag pattern? It dropped. Okay. So same thing. We're waiting for this flag pattern to form, and then is and then we wait for the drop. If if it's going to drop, if it don't drop, then it's going to hold on the trend line, and then we can just buy it. Okay. GBP JPY. Same thing. Um, descending triangle. Wait for the triangle to break. Okay. Mark that up. All right, Matt, Matt Cost. Uh, Matt, Matt Cost said, how do you use the, um, how do you use the long and short position? So what you need to do is you need to grab, um, if you're going to go for a buy, then put it on the chart. Put the stop loss right down here. Put the take profit up, up here, and that's how you use it. This is going to be the long because the stop loss is down here. And here's the take profit. If if this breaks the um the triangle, well then we're going to go short. And here's our stop loss and here's our take profit. All right? We're going to take profit at this area down here. There you go. And that's how you use it. Simple as that. And then what I do is um what I do is I put the I put the numbers in on my MT4. I only trade GBP pairs, okay? Um I only trade GBP pairs. Sometimes I trade EUR JPY and EUR all, but most of the time I only trade GBP pairs during London session because London got the biggest banks. All right? So that's what we do. All right team, I'm gonna get out of here. Don't forget to like this video, like this video, subscribe so you won't miss my YouTube series that's coming up. I don't want you to miss a video. You got to watch them in order, okay? So don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe, and let's make this money, baby. Peace. Tick, 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 take profits on the move, the movement is real yeah. 50 pips a day, watch the money trip Pips pay my bills, pips pay my bills Pips pay my bills, pips pay my bills yeah. 50 pips a day, watch the money trip 50 pips a day, watch the money trip Pips pay my bills, pips pay my bills Pips pay my bills, pips pay my bills 50 
three pips a day, that's what we catching, Joe. We trade and get paid. That's how we live in, yo. Trading is the new hustle. Take it to the hood and hustle. You ain't gotta sell drugs no more. Trade for a year, buy you a home. Making money as a team, we don't trade alone. Held a trade for a week, 20K from the phone. You can earn while you learn. We gon' teach you the game. I ain't male, gon' compensate. Cheering status is on its way. I know you see us off state to state. We really out here making waves. Pray before I start the day. 2 a.m. waking up the trade. London Sessions got the biggest banks. Making deals like Shark Tank. We bless the city in Jesus' name. I build the kingdom, I don't want the fame. I want it free, that's why I trade. I'm not a nine to five slave, I broke out the cage. They try to give you just enough to keep your mind trained. So who you put your trust in? I'm rapping Jesus' name. 50 pips a day, watch the money drip. 50 pips a day, watch the money drip. Pips pay my bills, pips pay my bills. Pips pay my bills, pips pay my bills.